This has been a lot, but it's been a good a lot. Um, now, it, again, in sincerity, this series that we've done here is an intro to EVPN and how you forward through a VPN, uh, EVPN fabric. If uh, And we're not going to dig into this in this series, but if you were to give people an idea of what they would be studying beyond this, uh, fun, this fu these fundamentals of how the different VRFs work, how the learning is done, mm -hmm. how the forwarding is done, what would you call then, I guess, advanced EVPN? Um, advanced would be um, troubleshooting it, being able to go from a network that doesn't work to make it to a network that does. But in order to understand it, you have to understand all the different pieces that are playing, how the routes get announced, where the routes go, um, follow the, the, the control plane packets, the data plane packets, um, et cetera. So if you know routing, um, you know, the, the underlay is pretty simple. It's the overlay that gets, you know, that's where things get kind of weird. In, if you were uh, to advise someone that was trying to teach this to themselves, like I, I was intending to, in my lab, do some of this work with Arista VEOS because you can get it for free. Arista doesn't give you any grief mm -hmm. about getting it. And it looks like yeah. all the instructions are there and the support is there that I could do it that way in a lab. Is that... Is that an option? Am I or am I kidding myself? And and if not Arista, who else? Um, I think you know. I I I try to be whenever we do any kind of these things. Uh, I'm just like you. We try to be vendor neutral. I try not yeah. to pick one vendor over another. As far as I know right now, Arista is the easiest way because, like you said, they make it very easy to download their image. You know, Cisco. Yeah. You have to go through all these hoops to try to get an image, and if you got a hookup, you can get it no problem. But you know, if you're just starting out, and you're not part of a, a partner network, or you don't have a, you know, you, you don't have a, a person you go to to, you know, find an image that fell off the back of a truck, um, uh, then uh, it's probably the easiest. It's also very Cisco-like command line, so it probably if you're familiar with the Cisco world, it's not too. Yeah, not too much trouble to, to get over to that. My point was was really what is the easiest way that I can, as l at low a cost as possible, get an EVPN lab up and running. And it felt like uh, Arista was the most straightforward answer. Yeah. It's not about vendor favoritism yeah. or anything like that. It's more like I just yeah. want to get these concepts in my head with some equipment, be able to look at routing tables, look at verfs, understand what lives where and how the mapping works and uh, what the route targets look like and just get it all in my head. And, uh, and yeah. Arista seemed like the path of least resistance for that. I believe you, I believe you're correct. I have not tried Juniper, and I have not tried Cumulus or the, or any of the other vendors for that matter. Um, I just know that Cumulus makes it very easy. It, you, you might be right there because Cumulus VX is also pretty easy to download and get stood up in your lab. They also don't give you a lot of grief. Yeah. Um, documentation for EVPN specifically in the Cumulus world, I'm not sure, but I I, I would assume that there's there's stuff there. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, um, I, I don't remember the gentleman's name, but there's uh, so if, if you want to learn EVPN, there's a lot of good stuff on YouTube. So this will be a resource on YouTube, which hopefully will help people. But there's a lot of good um, talks. Um, I learned EVPN through YouTube mm -hmm. and, and labbing, but it was important that I understood the concepts first and then start the lab. Um, so I would start out with YouTube. I would start with this video. Do if you just do EVPN VX land, a bunch of good stuff comes up. I'm going to provide you with a list of links that I used, um, including one really good talk with a couple of people about about it. Um, you know, our friend Ivan Peplniak is another great resource. He's got a lot of good stuff on there. Um, so uh, concepts, but I would uh, concepts first. Now, Tony, we just spent over the course of this series something like. I don't know, an hour and a half worth of, uh, of discussion about EVPN. You're an instructor. That's what you do. How can people find you? I know you have a blog. I know you have uh, mm -hmm. some training material out there. Just share all of that with folks. Sure. I train for a number of vendors. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I try to be, um, you know, flexible in that regard. Um, you can find me on Twitter at tburk, T-B-O-U-R-K-E. I'm on Instagram, not very uh, active these days, Tony.Burke on Instagram. And then you can find my blog at datacenteroverlords.com, which I think everyone says I sporadically blog. I sporadically <laughs> blog. You can find me on YouTube. Um, I've got a YouTube channel that has some videos where I do a lot of whiteboarding. 
Um, you're also going to find a lot of skydiving stuff on there. So I do some skydiving instruction as well. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a certified skydiving instructor as well. So um, if you're confused why the same person is teaching like EVPN and emergency procedures when your parachute fails, what to do, and you know. Do, do you ever combine the two? Like, okay, now that we've jumped out of the plane, you need to explain <laughs> type two routes to me before I'm going to explain to you how to pull your chute open. <laughs> oh no, no, I, yeah, I don't do that. But I do make. I um, I use it as kind of a marketing tool uh, because um, you know over your career you'll have a lot of instructors, and some of them are more memorable than others. But I think if your instructor is also a skydiving instructor, that it kind of gives me a little bit more credibility. <laughs> like, um, <laughs> Although it's simpler, it's like pull handle or don't pull handle. It's you know, the uh, it's simpler and the consequences are a little bit higher. So, in which case, you do want it simple, don't you? Well, Tony, thank you for uh, letting me be the student here and ask a bunch of questions and explaining things clearly. This has been uh, been great. I've enjoyed it, and uh, most of you know me if you follow the uh, the Packet Pushers uh, channel here on YouTube. But we're also at packetpushers.net. You'll find me on the Heavy Networking podcast. You will also find me on the Day Two Cloud podcast. And if you want to read some of my thoughts on what's going on in the industry and other instructional material of my own, you can go to ethancbanks.com and find all of that. Well, again, Tony, thanks for the time. This has been great stuff, and, uh, and hopefully we're going to do more together. Yeah, I, I, I love doing these, and uh, they also help me refine my teaching style so I can be more efficient in teaching this to the, you know, the next class, the next class, the next class. I'm always looking to not only get better in my knowledge, but also my skills in this teaching. So it benefits me greatly as well. Thank you. And to you out there in YouTube land, like and subscribe and leave your comments, your thoughts and your questions. We can't promise we'll get to everything, but uh, but we'll do our best. Thanks. Bye for now.